Okay, great to have you back, folks. Uh, this video is going to be our last one about the uh, record sets of VBA. We're, now we're going to use SQL. Uh, I encourage you to see the other ones, uh, the other videos. We had three talked about GEO, ADO, and about uh, the forms. And all the code is at vbahowto.com. So are the videos. So. Uh, let's look at updating. Well, actually, uh, we can go through and pretty much anything can be done with, with SQL. You have a lot of flexibility. So, um, with our example here, we're looking at in the, in our, uh, in our database here, we're looking about looking with our form. And uh, now this is a blank form, but when it loads, it's actually selecting just the W's from from the um, the customer's table. Now, if I go into into here, I'm looking at uh, when I load the form. I'm using this select statement. Just load the just load the customers where the company names like W. Okay, and then set the record source equal to my SQL string. Okay, SQL string right here. And then I'm going to say I'm going to clone this record set so I can I can move through it. And here again, as you saw in the previous video, I have all this BTN move first, BTN next, uh, previous, so on and so forth. Now back at the form here, I'm looking at. Uh, I can click my last one and my first one, and again, these are just the W's. Now, as I go through here, now let's say I have this Will, Will Man Kala. I want to go ahead and, and update this record. Okay, this allows me the having a sol using SQL allows me to update the record. Now we can do the four different types of action queries. We have uh, the uh, pen query, the select query, we have the uh, make table query, actually create table. So that's an action query. Select is not really one. So we have a pen, make table, we have an insert or update, and then we have delete. So, and on the blog, I'm going to have the syntax for each one, each one of those. So, down here, we have the, we're going to update this here record. So, I'm taking out the, the call part. And so, it's just going to be Willman. And then, update, I click, and updated name to Willman. Okay. Now, if I look at, now, I go back to that record here, Willman, I notice that, hey, I've updated. It was successful. And it should be. So I'm going ahead and adding that back here again. Let's see if I can get that back. I can press escape to escape back. And William Kala. And then I'm going to click and up OK. OK. And now back to the code here. I'm going to show you uh, what the code looks like. When I do the, when I click the button to update. OK. If I go ahead and I click the button to update. I'm going to add and formulate my SQL string. Update customers set company name equal to what's in the text box, which is Will, Willman. Okay, what's in the text box, Willman. Where customers, so I don't want to update every single record in the whole table. I want to update where I'm limiting my records to just where the customer name is or the customer ID is Wilk. And then I'm going ahead and using the the connection, the connection object. Instead of actually formulating a new record set, I'm just using that connection. It's really, really simple. C current DB is my connection, and that's a current DB. Execute, execute what my SQL statement. Okay, let's go ahead and run through this and see what. It, uh oh. Well, that's not working. So I have to go here to my toolbar here and remember this from the previous videos we have debug toolbar and then I'm stepping into stepping into I'm formulating my SQL statement where it's equal to will man okay where it's equal to will and then updated name to that will man 
and bang, update named woman, and that I am through. So again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you come back to the blog, I have uh, some examples of the four different uh, four different action queries, and uh, you'll be able to get those VBA how to dot com. Be sure to also to subscribe to this channel, rate and comment on the video when you get a chance, and feel free to. To ask any questions, specific questions, and uh, blog at cbahowto.com. And thanks for watching. You have a, a great rest of the day. Thanks.